This is Azaria. I'm currently working on the Python version of the course. Let's see. You need to build a game to trap the darkness. Woohoo! Remember, the Akadus works a little differently when you build the game. For now, don't change the boss code. Correct, we won't do that. You can put your helper code here, add different items to the game. You can build arrow tiles just like we did for energy paths. Add your code and hit update, and then we're going to play it. Okay, great. And so what do I need? And I always use this right here. Build at least four arrows and update the game. At least four. Final. Build five. So there's already one. What am I going to do next? Well, I'll continue on their path. And I'm just going to do move right. And then what do we do? Well, we build. And let's do a right arrow. And then build. And so notice I am repeating myself over and over and over, which you don't want to do in code. If you keep repeating yourself, there probably is a more efficient way of doing things. Build type, right arrow, right? So notice this, 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 move right, build right arrow, move right, build right arrow, move right, build right arrow. Four times in a row. And I'm actually going to do five because it says at least but if you're writing something four times in a row, there's a better way. There's a lazier way even. 4i in range. I'm going to do it five times. Boom. And now, as long as I indent this, because that's how the code knows what's in your for loop and what it is not, I should do this code four times without five times without needing to write it each time. It will hit i and go zoop, zoop, zoop. And once it does it five times, if I had code underneath, it would run that code. Let's give this a shot. Oh, I need to hit update, right. Play. Zoom. Look at our awesome turtle. How do I lock? I just don't get walking on land. <gasps> we did it! Onward. All right, and here we are in the next part. Let's see what we're doing. It looks like we're going to be building a wall. You need to build a game to trap the darkness, okay? Time to make your game a little more interesting. Sure, adding spikes, a wall, and wall to get your code to your code will make the game more challenging for players. Oh yeah, always use this, this is super handy. When you forget, like I do constantly, like, oh, what goes in here, what's the argument? All of the code is right there. They're not trying to hide it from us, which is great. Remember, don't change the boss. Yeah, we're leaving that alone, got it. All right, let's do this. So here we need, we build at least one wall for your game. I'm going to actually, I think I'm going to try building a wall right here. So I don't want this in my loop because I don't want to build five walls. So I'm going to have it indented like I do here and then build and then, oh, it defaults to wall. And remember, you can always test stuff. So let's hit update and see if I, oh, wait a minute. That's over my arrow. So it looks like that's why we test things. I'm going to say move right and then we'll do the wall building let me separate that and again this isn't in my loop there we are so i got one wall build at least one set of spikes hmm move right build the wall i want to go then to build spikes let's let's trap the player at the end here so i'm going to go down and ooh, my game's going to be so good layoffed and then spikes. Oh, I got to do build. Spikes. And I might be fancy. And, and I'm going to do one more set of spikes. So I'm going to move left because it says at least. So I can do more. Build spikes. Let's see what this does. Ooh. Ah. All right. Now I get to play. Yeah, play game. And let me just update one more time. Make sure it's updated and play. All right. Go, turtle, go. Oh, that was W. Go, go, go. Uh-oh, I'm trapped. Ah, wall. Ow. <gasps> that was violent. Okay. Boom. No? Yeah. Ooh, this game's going to be so cool. Onward. Okay, it's finally time to work on the boss. Yes. Take a look at the boss code. The boss is different, is a different object. So all the commands begin with boss. Yeah. So just like helper or hero or, or whatever we have, 
these commands begin with boss. Right now, the boss movement is a bit boring. Wow, well, I thought it was terrifying. Uh, and the game is too easy to play. Oh, I was feeling good about my game skills. Add more code in the loop, or change the loop number in your boss code to make the moves more interesting. Then update and play your game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so right now the boss only goes back and forth twice. So what if we did, like, four times? And let's say we would go... So the boss starts here, goes left three, moves to right one, left three. What if we did three and three? And now that I go right, left, right, left, actually, I'm going to also go up. So right three, left three. Let's do, ooh, when he goes right, we're going to go move up. And I'm just going to do one, so I'll leave it at that. And then once he's done going right, I'm going to go down. Ooh, this is cool. All right. Now let's make sure to update. And what? Update. Oh, not helper. Boss. And that's why it's important to pay attention to objects. All right, let's try. Go, turtle, go. Ooh, you see how the boss moves up? This is not good. Go, go, go. Why is it a turtle? Why don't I get like a cheetah? Ooh, and we did it. Onward. This is Azaria, and we're continuing to work on our game in the gauntlet. Python version, let's see. You need to build the track. Yeah, we've been doing that. Quick, we're running out of time. Few. Last step is to customize your game so it's more fun and interesting. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we can always use this code bank. All right. So how can I make this more difficult, even though I'm already bad at it? I want spikes here and here for sure. So I know that I need to get back. So I would go, let's just, if I stop here, I'm going to need to go left one, left two. So left two. And then what? I'm going to build, well, spikes. My game's going to be awesome. Hopefully I can beat it. <laughs> I'm going to build spikes here. And let's make one right here. Oh, it's going to be difficult. So then I'd have to go down to and over five. Uh, let's make sure that I got this right so far. I always want to hit update because it's fine to be wrong. You just want to make sure. So now I need to go down to, down to and then right five and actually instead of spikes what if we build a wall and if i can never beat this that will be embarrassing let's see oh nope i want it yeah because that way i can't go zoop okay okay all right all right let's hit play oh i can still so i've been going like this and Oh, those speed me past it. Oh, that's bad. Okay, I want I want another chance. Uh, R. Can I just... That's not good. Okay, wait a minute. Play. Let's just go down. Ooh. Ooh, I found a, a hack. Not really a hack. Uh, go, go, go! Turtle. Did I... Woohoo! Oh, now it wants us to add directions. So, directions. Hmm, game. Let's take a look at our uh, resources here, right? And I think it would be in helper for... Wait a minute. Game? Add text directions. Interesting. I don't think we have a game object. We have a helper object, a boss object. We have items and tools. That seems a bit out of place then. I can add it. Sure, let me try here. I'm going to go down here. Game dot add text directions. But notice it doesn't even fill it in automatically. So let me hit update. And it, yeah, it throws an error. We don't have a game object. It, it seems like this instruction might be out of place. Let me cut and let me put it at the top of my code and check. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to bypass that for now. I'm just going to delete that. The object isn't available to us. Let's see what else. Set map size is used. You need to set the map size at the beginning. Oh, good. I'm glad we're at the top. Of your code for it to work. All right, let's go look here because I'm not familiar. 
Here we are, set my, ooh, ooh, get a pick. Uh, helper, no. Set map size, and I want medium, I'm thinking. Let's see what that does. Oh, I bet that's the small we ha the size we already have. Let's try small. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. oh. okay, I'm going to stick with medium. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right. And I got it at the beginning of the code. Set player or other methods to customize your game. Ooh, okay, can we... Oh, I want to be a dragon? That's incredible. What else do we got over here? Set background, uh, yeah. I want this one, crystal. Cool. Yes, the default, perfect. And I could easily, if you didn't notice, drop and go around this. I want to make it harder. I want to make sure I have to go through... Uh, let's let's put another. Ooh, I know. I'm. Go I want another spike here. What else do I have other than build? There we go. Our items, blocks. Ah, I'll put a wall. So under this wall, I'm gonna just move down and build. Okay, let's see what my level looks like. I actually wanted this. Let's see. Move down two. I'm going to just do move down. I want my wall up here. Oh, I'm excited about my game. Look at my cool crystal background. Then I want to move down after that wall. And then that might mess up where this block is. Let's see. I like that because we got it. Okay, cool. Oh, my level is so cool. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, set player size. Yep, all right, play. Oh, look at my dragon. Go, dragon. That spider I do not like. Go, 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 dragon, go, go. Oh, victory! Oh, this is awesome. Onward.